Natasha here from The Traveling Foxes. We are going to do a small travel Q&A since recently I was looking at my old travel photos and I couldn't help but miss traveling in general. And I'm sure you do too because as we know it's, it's May 2020 and we're still in the middle of a global pandemic. But that's okay because in this video we're going to reignite the travel bug in you for some hashtag nostalgic travel stories. So I hope you enjoy this video and hit the subscribe button if you haven't yet so you can get updated on our upcoming travel videos. Let's get to it. Okay, the most impactful travel story for me that was when I first traveled um, abroad on my own. I've been traveling a lot with my family um, ever since then when I was a kid but for me to travel overseas by myself was a big step and I was fresh out of school and I decided to do a, a volunteer experience through ISAC. My dream was to go to Europe and apply to many internships to go to Europe. Instead, I ended up in Shanghai, in China. This was super impactful for me because I lived there for about four months. I was teaching English in many different schools. I lived in a cheap hostel in a tiny room with five other girls. I mean, living conditions were tough, but that didn't stop me from, from traveling and experiencing it to the fullest. I met so many people from around the world, saw so many interesting places, and even stayed with a Chinese family who didn't know how to speak English at all. Through this experience, it helped me gain confidence that I could be independent and that I can always turn something unexpected in an opportunity to learn and to grow. I really loved that experience and ever since then I was literally addicted to travel. Uh, there are a lot because I always like seeing something unexpected from a country that I visit and that's normal for travel. You always have something that would surprise you. One that really surprised me, I guess, is in India. I traveled with my co-fox back in 2017. It was our first international trip together. And though there are a lot of misconceptions traveling in India, especially for two girls like us, we actually met some really cool people. We hiked the Himalayas together, stayed in a tent, and had a gruesome 12-hour bus ride up and down the mountains. Then we traveled to the major cities, um, saw the majestic Taj Mahal, tried some spices in Jaipur, rode a tuk-tuk, and even visited a Sikh temple. I immensely enjoyed that experience because I was really open to going out of my comfort zone. As a result, it surprised me in a good way. And even though there were some mishaps, which is quite common when you travel, it made our trip just much more memorable and, and richer in experience. What country would I like to visit again? Um, so this was pretty recent. I was in St. Petersburg last February um, and I would love to go back because it was such an amazing country. I appreciate architecture, history, and learning about culture. St. Petersburg had it all. Unfortunately, I visited during the peak of winter, so it was very cold and I was unable to um, visit a lot of other places. And um, I would love to go back during the summer and learn more about the fascinating history and culture about Russia. The motherland, Russia. Most underrated city I visited, um, last year I visited Malta because I have a Maltese friend who lived there. And if you don't know where it is, it's a tiny, tiny country just in the south of Italy. It's very Mediterranean, surrounded with beautiful ocean, rocky cliffs, and century-old architecture. I was actually excited to visit it because I'm a Game of Thrones fan, and that's where most of the first few seasons of Game of Thrones were shot or were filmed. I felt it's such an underrated city because I haven't really heard of Malta before, and so as many of my Filipino friends. 
but it is it, it just has amazing nature and we don't really realize it but it's been used so many times as a backdrop by um, many Hollywood films. It's pretty worth a visit. Favorite city? Ha! Ah, this is tough because I love Manila. Um, my family and my friends are there. I grew up most of my life in Manila, Manila. But having lived in Amsterdam for about two years, I would say this city is pretty amazing. I mean, Amsterdam is charming, it's diverse, eclectic, and overall clean. There are practically more bikes around the city than cars. Tons of cultural activities, green spaces, and hangout spots, so you won't get bored uh, in a city like Amsterdam. Um, it's also one of the most open-minded and liberal cities, yet there's still a sense of order and peace. It's not a hard city to like, and I'm very happy to call it my home for, for now. All right, that's it for now, guys. I hope you enjoyed and got a bit of inspiration from my travel stories. Um, I would love to hear from you uh, and share your travel stories with me or just ask me more questions if you want. Maybe I'll do another travel Q&A um, just for you guys. For now, stay safe, keep inspired and be patient as we will travel again pretty soon. Bye bye.